Hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ and today's topic is Structural Pairing Part 2. So yeah, there is a part 1 of this particular topic and if you don't know what is that, I mean what is Structural Pairing, please go ahead and watch that video first because we are going to discuss little advanced point with respect to Structural Pairing. So if you don't know what is Structural Pairing or if you have only heard about it and have few knowledge. I would recommend please watch that video you will be getting that link somewhere here I guess so please watch that video first then you come and watch this one so if you have watched that video let's start this video so for this I need some struct and a here here we'll give in teacher x and double d and we need another struct uh, let's make it b and we will make it integer y and a a here so this is a very important part we're taking this a as a data member inside this b and yeah you might have guessed it what i'm going to ask you now is the size of b here can you guess it what is going to be size of b think about it pause the video and think about it so i assume you have paused the video and come up with some answer so let's compile this and check the output for this 24 why is it so let's check that but before that let's see what you might have thought so it is very easy to guess the size of this a here this is going to be 4 and this is going to be 8 byte but structural padding doesn't work like this so structural padding will see that okay what is the biggest size among these two double means 8 so it will create let's suppose this is the memory slot and it will create let's suppose 8 byte and try to place this integer x inside that so this integer x will occupy only 4 bytes and remaining 4 bytes will be wasted and after that this double d will come so another 8 byte so these two I mean these two data types will result into 8 plus 8 16 bytes so the result of this one should be 16 okay it will search for the bigger one which is double here and then it will create block multiple of that so it created block of 8 and it entered this x inside that and then it will try to fix this 8 inside this remaining 4 but it cannot fix that that's why it will allocate another block and then this D will come here okay actually this 8 can start at memory location which is multiple of 8 so if you will divide this full memory from 0 to 7 here so which is total 8 and then from 8 to 15 so as you can see that this D will start from the memory address which is multiple of 8 so this 8 is of multiple 8 of 8 okay so it will start from here this is another way to remember this and these things I have explained in my previous video I mean first part and I have given so much of extra points related to this okay so now let's come to this structure B so as you can see that we have this integer which will take 4 and this a which is of size 16 so it is 16 and as I said here it saw the biggest data type which was 8 so it started creating multiple of 8 okay but if you will see here according to that statement it should start creating multiple of 16 bytes I mean the first block should be of 0 to 15 but it is not like that don't miss this part okay I'm discussing the false case here it won't create 0 to 15 I mean the first block of size 16 and place this 4 here and I mean this y here and some space will go wasted and then this a will come here no 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 this is not going to be like this so let's discuss the actual thing here the actual thing is this structure B will try to open this structure A here itself what do I mean by opening it it will check 
which is the biggest data member inside A, which is happened to be double here, which is of eight bytes. So again, it will create eight byte block, not 16 byte block. I guess you are following me. So let's suppose this is zero to seven, eight bytes, and it will try to place this Y. So Y will come here and this much of memory will go waste. You got this point, right? When there is a situation like this, one structure is inside another structure, then how to get the size? It will try to go to structure A and it will find that which is the biggest data member. Here it is eight byte, I mean, which is double. So it will allocate eight byte block first and place this one inside that and remaining place will go waste and then it will place this 16. So from eight, it should be 20 on three. Okay, so this A will come inside this. So zero to 23, it is 24. That's why we got 24 there. And this is how it work. And you might think, what if here, I'm having another integer, let's suppose K. Then as I said, if suppose there is some integer K after this integer Y, then what should be the size of this B here? It should be 24 only because as I said, it will try to open A and it will find that eight, I mean the biggest element and that is eight. So here it will first allocate eight byte and try to fix Y inside that. So Y will take only four byte, remaining four byte will go for K. So K will come here and then A will come here. So now there is no wastage. If you want to see that, let's see that. I will place one integer k here and let's compile and check. See, it is still 24. But wait a minute. What if you place this one here instead of like that? What if you place it, sorry, place it like this? Then what would be the size of this one? I'll tell you, the size is going to be 32. Let me compile that. C, it is 32. Now I will explain why it is 32. Be ready for that. So let's assume that we have integer x and then this a and then integer y. Then why it is 32? As I said, there is this a here. So it will try to open this and we will get eight. So it will create multiple of eight blocks. So first it will go and allocate the memory. It will create eight block. So zero to eight, and it will try to accommodate this X inside that, which will come in half because this integer is of four bytes. So X will come here. Now, as I said, this A is of 16 byte. It cannot come inside this remaining four byte. So we have to create another block of 16 bytes. So it should not be zero to eight, it should be zero to seven. You might be shouting there, but I was not listening, sorry. So it is 32, sorry, 23. So from eight to 23, we'll have A here, okay? Now we will have this integer Y. So we have another eight byte for this Y here and half will go waste. Why we are creating multiple of eight? Because we have this A here and this is the biggest data member inside A. So you might have got the answer for your question. Why having the similar data members suddenly increased your structure size. So if you will have the same data structure, integer X and integer Y and A, then this will result into 24 and the same data members, but if you have changed the places, it will result into 32. So place is really very important when you are creating any class or structure and how you're managing your data members inside that. I mean, how you're placing them. It should be 
in sorted order okay so you might be thinking why i am uploading this video after two months so actually i have a reason for that and i wanted to show you that reason so let's see that actually my brother has also come into this youtube stuff and where is that uh oh i wanted to show you his channel and i am doing a free advertising bot king actually he is a gamer he likes to play games and currently he is playing game only and he used to play pubg too much so there he is maybe he died in this game and he's watching his friend playing that so his channel name is bot king if you like to watch pubg game in your free time please try to support this channel he plays really well actually he plays very quick so i like that part and i was also a gamer when i was in btech so again guys if you watch pubg videos in your free time please consider watching this channel's video the channel name is again bot king okay this is the channel name so thanks for watching this video and if you have any doubt please comment i'll be very happy to answer your questions thanks for watching bye bye see you in the next videos